Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Reddit Weekly. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Uh, we're gonna look at the top posts for this last week as always and it looks like this top one uh, very much highly upvoted. Shout out to this guy on the train. Sorry for the creepy picture. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seeing some other guy playing Factorio on a train. Man, that's awesome. It's the only way to make a 12 hour train ride feel like 30 minutes. <laughs> exactly. All right, <laughs> all right. I've got some time. The last time I left off, I had iron troubles. I'll just start a new mining outpost over at this new patch I found and link it up to my train network. Now that's done. I can wait. Where did six hours go? <laughs> and why the f am I in Brussels? <laughs> oh my god! I mean, any player with a solid build a condition and a stop player equals zero on the train will sit and breathe idle for hours. <laughs> Getting run over by a train while on a train. Oh my goodness. Let's see whispers, damn it, the train signals are all wrong. I need to fix this or they'll collide. Oh man. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. You're so obsessed with, with your gameplay that you completely like miss your stop and end up in like another county or if you're in Europe, possibly even another country. So I got a little carried away while doing nothing in particular. Oh my god. This is actually fantastic. Someone make a train clock now, the Factorio gods demand it. Isn't it? didn't the, um... Dev show a train clock? On Friday Facts? Of course! It's Arrow, my gluteus. <laughs> Doing this, this is awesome. I'm not, it looked like a fairly long video, but he does, they do a ton of awesome stuff. Uh, this would make a fantastic loading screen? Yeah, for sure. How I feel every time I discover I have no more repair packs. Why well, run out of repair packs? Use for repairs, or my personal construction bot sees something to repair while on move, and I end up leaving them to their death along with their share of repair packs. This, and this is why I can't wait for 17 to be able to toggle our personal ports on and off, because this is so frustrating. Oh my gosh. This is one of the most frustrating things in the game for me, is when this happens. Or when they just go and try to build stuff that you fly over without knowing that you have something to build there. And then they just disappear forever. <laughs> it's just the bots won't fly out if you're moving faster than the bots can. See, I didn't actually know. That's pretty cool if that's actually the case in 017. Plus, you can disable the ports, too. <clears throat> Lots of space for the bus. Oh, my God. I have to say, that actually looks kind of not great playing on the curve monitor for me. I can't imagine how much this costs, but like watching a movie or something, I can see it being good, but playing a game like Vectorio, I'm not actually sure. I'm not sold on this, to be honest. Other than it's when there's a kitty. <laughs> I the same monitor until I got the mod that lets you zoom out. I couldn't stand how it zooms in when you're this wide. <laughs> That monitor has to be like a thousand dollars or something. Did you ever, Solar Edition, did you ever hear the tragedy? <laughs> Haven't we seen this like five times? That's not story Steam Engines will tell you he was solar panel powerful enough to save others from blackout but not himself. <laughs> Friend of mine 3D printed and painted this for me because I got him into Factorio and helped him when he whenever he needed. I saw this previously this week and this is so freaking cool. This has got his name on it, Factorio gear and stuff, and uh, the little train on the train track and it's all painted super nice. I love this so much. I would totally take one of these with my name on it. For sure, that is awesome. You know, I'm 3D printer to make models for the train set I'm working on. I don't suppose he wants to share the modeling files. Ooh. Maybe. I don't think it ever loads. I don't think it's gonna load. Oh, this. I actually have this. My, uh, my dad printed this for me. He just put it on, like, a nice plaque and stuff and printed the rest of it. Okay, yeah, he probably, like, glued it on and then painted it really nice. Yeah, this is actually super cool. It turns out really well. Uh, let's see. Finally got my ant defenses up. 
Oh my god, that's so cool. That is awesome, man. <laughs> pew pew those stupid ants. Oh, that is so, so cool. Fortunately, it doesn't actually zap ants. That'd be pretty neat. <laughs> as close as I could get making a factorial laser turret, I have to say this is definitely my favorite model yet. So, ooh, link to 3D file. Yes, please. I'll take it. I definitely want one of these. <laughs> Looks like you have to glue a lot of stuff together, but, well, maybe not. Maybe only a couple parts. Then if you paint it. Oh, that's so cool. You can 3D print so much cool stuff for Factorio. That's awesome. I'm going to keep that open so I don't forget it. Friday Facts. Super awesome Friday Facts. Definitely worth checking out. I made a Factorio resume instead of working on my real one. Share some of yours. <laughs> oh, man. I should do this. This would actually be pretty funny. Um, you're hired. See you on Monday. I can start tomorrow if you'd like. <laughs> Slick design. Why did you build it in? Resume build... To not be putting things that went bad onto a resume, good work otherwise. <laughs> Can't believe you couldn't finish Dwarf Fortress. Oh my goodness, car alarm, holy cow, I'm sorry guys. Okay, it shut off. Good lord, I'm sorry. Jesus. <laughs> um, normally I don't read these super long things, but I actually want to read this with you. Screen name. Uh, Fairway 991, Factory Drone, 2 plus years of Factorio experience, 2,000 plus hours logged, over 20 achievements, primarily Angels Bob gameplay, rails, belts, bots, have done some mod making on the side, PM for details, looking for interesting single player gameplay variants, would love to try out multiplayer, would love to try out Dwarf Fortress style succession games. Personal info, boom, skills, burn attack, you know, my designs are lit, circuits can make Latches and simple lodging involving counters, vanilla trains and signals, left hand drive preferred, LTN no experience, main belts max width equals 10, logistic bots, I only use construction bots, wow what a noob, I'm joking of course, but fluid management, 4 out of 5 vanilla, 3 out of 5 angels bobs, wildlife management, I use pipes as bio defense when I didn't have walls, <laughs> forestry, I use farl, power, I launched like at most 10 rockets total. Ratio management, nice. Vanilla World 014, launch a rocket. Marathon World 014015. Angel Bomb Marathon Worlds, oh god, that sounds like hell. Performed extensive custom blueprint design involving with custom ratios. After several restarts, eventually got up to an automating fast inserters and electric drills. Learned use of vanilla train system to great effectiveness. Angels Bob Marathon Belt World, no thanks. Interest, other games. Silicon Zeros finished. Manufactorio finish. Factoria. Space Cam stuck on Final Boss. Infinite Factory sent Dwarf Fortress lost KSP. Mun and Minmus. Probably sure that means quality of life mods, autofill, trash bottleneck, even distribution. Far so on and so forth. Biggest pet peeve refueling trains. <laughs> this is great. I love it. I just survived my first blackout. Is one I am, and I was happily developing my first... Okay, this is a really long post, but... Lessons learned. Call is life. Have a second line of defense is gun turrets. Your friends will mute you on Discord if you keep screaming about buyers eating your precious base. <laughs> Seems solar panels are not a useless pain in the ass. After all, a large array of cumulators might be useful. Excessive... Excessive excitement at this time of night is bad for your sleep. Yeah. Losing power is not so good. When you're alone in the sea and there's nothing to see... As free as can be because you're a tree, although if you want to mine but the stars don't align, no one in time, you'll be fine if you keep in mind rule nine. Oh my god. <laughs> rule nine being no island spawns. You inevitably landfill that sea. Please leave a moat around that island as a memorial to the free tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's far away from my base. My mega factory, little happy tree <laughs> way over here. Oh my god, this is great. I love it. Uh, I think something went wrong. Um, what? What is this? Protect paving the floor with rails so it has some cough performance issues.
Oh no, it's dying. Yeah, that's bad. Promise it issues were deemed acceptable as punishment. <laughs> A compact circular stacker. Interesting. I'm not really a fan. I mean, it's it's a cool concept, but like, the problem is, is it you'd have to the biggest train can only be as big as the smallest stacker. Whereas like normal stackers, the trains can all be the same size and like all fit. But if you make any train like as big as this one, it's not going to fit any of these two smaller ones. But if you have multiple size trains, this could actually be quite good. Um, the factory must expand. <laughs> the factory must grow. But why? Pollution producing module. I think this is something to trigger biter attacks very useful back when we needed to kill biters to collect purple orbs. Yeah, so pollution triggering module doesn't really do much at this point because you know you no longer need to get anything from aliens. But if you just want to watch the world burn and pollute the hell out of it, I suppose you could do that. Traveling faster than Factorio using un... unmoving cars. Oh, so this is like the rocket thing, kind of. Oh my god. You always get out of the car on the left side that can enter from any side. String cars together allows you to almost instantly jump from one to another. This is faster than a car using nuclear fuel in person with 10 exoskeletons. Sure, if it's faster than a train, you can go faster. Oh god. Which is oh, we've seen this. This is like with the rockets, I think. Yep. <laughs> this adorable dog of barking in a nearby uranium patch. What? Oh, dog. Okay, I thought he like there was a bite or something. This does. It looks like exactly like a dog. I love it. <laughs> Projectile vomiting a uranium patch. <laughs> oh my god. I think 254,000 plastic per minute will last a while. No, dude, not even close. I don't know what mod this is. These things, it looks like this is showing signals or something on the map. Dude, that's pretty cool. Much as my laptop will allow. The only true answer to the question. <laughs> yes, this is so much plastic. It's belt based, too. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that's that's a correct answer to the question. How big are you going? As big as my computer will possibly allow me to go. <laughs> the dream tutorial for a game engine, but the factory must grow. New game engine tutorial, automate everything. Oh no! <laughs> uh, have I gone too far? Did I mock the 32-bit gods too much? <laughs> Opening saves failed result too large wow well the save is my decently long train line to a middle of nowhere iron plate outposting outpost running six full blue belts of plates wow save is too big yeah i do remember i think that used to be a limitation of the game i try on bed was a dangerous decision nice how could you even play like that like I, I can't even see. I mean, you can see the stuff, but like, I can't even see the toolbar well enough to even know what the hell's on it. Or like, finely place stuff. I mean, maybe you could place stuff, but like, I I mean, I seriously like wouldn't even be able to see what's on my toolbar. <laughs> it is cool though. They have a setup where they can play it in bed without a laptop. That's that's pretty great. Gotta see the comments on this. How do you sleep? Oh wait. <laughs> Don't have to automate what you don't need. Yeah, see, this is this is what I'm saying. How can you see it from this far away? 40-inch TV and it's about two meters away. Standard or metric? Don't worry, folks. It's 40-inch TV with 16 away. <laughs> okay, yeah. Never mind. That looks like, like a 24-inch monitor or something. If it's a 40-inch TV and it's that close, then I, I can see how that's possible. Over Factorio's best early access game 2019, nominated by, by German gaming magazine GameStar. Well, 
None of it's... Oh, wait. And none of it's in English. I don't know how to vote. I, I suppose you can Google Translate. Huh. Yeah, definitely, definitely worth voting for this, for sure. That's awesome. Why are all these solid fuel belts empty? Because the Kim plant's not running. Why aren't the Kim plants running? Oh, God. The chain of bottlenecks. Because no rocket fuel long ago. Okay, time to build a petroleum gas solid fuel factory with control. Circuit control. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, I love this dude. Oh, this amalgam in the middle clip is like so factorio perfect. I don't want to play it because I'm afraid YouTube's going to copyright strike me or something ridiculous. Um, but if you haven't seen this, I highly recommend to watch. This is just so perfect to factorio. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Uh, I finally got constant streams of ore. Nice. Quite a few. It's like, what, four, like, ten belts, it looks like? I love all the different forms of madness this game reveals. <laughs> what they say about sandbox rebuilding games, be yourself. How I leave messages for myself before logging for the night. Expand copper. <laughs> also, make notes on the map by right-clicking and just typing. More helpful since you can tie it to a location. That is very true. Tags across the map like these. Need zinc, need lead, expand solar, destroy bugs. It starts to look like World War II campaign map. <laughs> what do you mean? Logging for the night? Do you mean morning, afternoon, the next day? <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, I think that's all of them. Double check, I didn't miss any. They were some really funny ones this time. Uh, but that's going to do it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. These are always really great to look at. Uh, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.